everybody, Moo here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Santa Claus Chip. He is SL6. We will be using the 5 to 4 in the coin booster as always. And he is a center clearer, which usually is not a good thing because center clearers in this game are traditionally relatively weak. However, he does have the added benefit of starting fever time the moment you press his skill. This is especially useful if he's lower skill level. So between SL1 and SL4, where the skill isn't going to be strong enough on its own to get you back into fever time. And of course, for those missions where you need to re-enter fever time like 20, 30 times, he's definitely going to come in handy and kind of speed up the process of you clearing those a little bit quicker. So uh, let's just jump straight into the game. We're going to do three games as always. See what he's all about, dude. Here we go. I'm not holding my breath again. Santa Clear is not the best symptom in the game, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. It looks like he also freezes the screen when he uses his ability, so you have to be careful uh, with how efficient you are because you have to make sure you actually have some some on your screen for him to hit so that's actually another detriment and he's only hitting in the low 30s it would appear so very much a uh, low tier santa clear like we suspected all right 32 that time oh that's just unfortunate See, that's what happens when uh, some some don't hit for very much. You're also not able to, to uh, cycle through the screens as quickly and recharge their abilities fast enough. So you oftentimes get caught outside of fever time, which is not where you want to be caught because you want those five second refreshes as often as possible. So there we go. <laughs> We're getting super unlucky with the Mitesome as well, so this is just not this is just not a good game, guys. Not a good game. So yeah, I have to wait there like a split second just to make sure that some some are back on the screen so we can hit for the little amount that he already does. Because at low 30s, he's already earning so little coin that if you don't wait for that extra split second, you're going to get punished a lot. In this game, one extra symptom added to a chain length makes quite a big difference. Because the way that the game scales based off of chain length is actually substantial. Especially when you look at the higher chain lengths. Um, so, for example, if you look at how much coin a chain of 33 gives you compared to a chain of 36, you might be surprised. I have a video on this with all the math and the spreadsheets and everything. It's there. Check it out <laughs> if you want the exact numbers. <laughs> Uh, all right, so not very good, not very good, but there's a silver lining here. We're progressing through the event, and so we're going to get the reindeer at some, some, at some point. <laughs> so there's that silver lining. All right, let's get into uh, another game. My goal with Chip here is to get one game out of the three that gives me like 4,000 base coin, and that's pure RNG because we're strictly depending on how many mites and we're able to get in the game. And if we get another game like this one where we're just not getting that many mites, um, and we're also not able to cycle through the screen very quickly. Uh, yeah, so not a good start here. I'm going to have to try and play a little bit quicker because with him, you have to. <laughs> you have to physically make up for his shortcomings. Oh, this is just not good. This is just not good, guys. We're 20 seconds in and we we'll only have 300 coins. So, uh. There we go. Yeah. 
I also have to save that bubble. Traditionally, I have like a muscle memory reaction where I like to pop it immediately after the enter fever time to kind of uh, cycle the symptom a little bit quicker and get him to drop down right away. But with him, I need to hang on to it, apparently. Because we might actually need it to get back into fever time. Please time bubbles? No, no time bubbles? Oh man, this is gonna be rough, dude. Getting 4,000 base coin with this. And just like her, oh. Oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> I don't know if three games is gonna be enough for him. I mean, he can definitely do it. It's just gonna, he's not efficient enough to do it consistently, so, you know. And then the other detriment is when you do save those bubbles to help you get back into fever time, they're also blocking his skill from hitting for its maximum potential. So it's like just too many drawbacks to this symptom. Well, we cracked 3,000 this time. So, the real question is, can we get an extra 900 base coin in our final game? I don't know, but at least we got 4,000 after the booster is applied. So, we're not losing coin yet, yet. Okay, next one is to clear one big symptom in one play. I think we can manage that. Here we go, final game, guys. Oh, poor old Chip. The squirrels have never been, you know, all that good in the game, but uh, yeah, they're cute. They're cute, right? There we go. We have to save all the large symptoms to hit with the skill if we have any hope of getting to 4,000 base coin. Okay, double large symptom here. Come on, hit them both, hit them both. For 34, only 34. Oh my God, dude. Okay, see, see how much weaker he is? Miki and Pluto are able to hit for 34 at skill level one. This guy needs two large symptom on screen at SL6 to hit for the same amount. Isn't that insane? That should give you a um, pretty good idea of the difference in power level between Pluto and Miki and this guy. Quite staggering, if, you, if I might say so myself. There you go. Okay. You know what? I'm actually going to wait. I don't trust him. I don't trust that he's going to charge up quick enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is the worst kind of scenario. Okay, bu time bubble? No? Okay, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I don't want to waste a large symptom either. Uh, this is just, see, it's just not efficient, guys. It's just not efficient. Okay, now we can go for it. We have half our fever gauge left. There's a decent amount of mites. Um, okay, never mind. We we messed up. Please give me a time bubble. Thank you. At least that much to make up for our mistake of trusting Chip. Okay, we use that time bubble to get us an exactly two extra seconds so we can re-enter fever time and get an extra five seconds. Which we were able to do nothing with because there weren't enough mitesum for us to recharge his ability. And therefore, we ended up with less coin than we did in our second game. That's just how it is, man. Center clear. Doesn't hit for very much. 
freezes the screen with his ability as well so that Tsum Tsum don't continue to uh, cascade down and fill up the playing area. Chip, I'm sorry to say, as cute as you are, as much as I like your hat, uh, I, I don't believe we're going to be connecting on the playing field in the future, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, guys, that's it. Very plain Jane, below average symptom. If you have any questions, comments, leave them all in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for your likes, your subs, and your viewership. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.